Welcome everyone to a brand new Minecraft tutorial. So today what I'm going to be talking about is how to turn these two villagers over here to three. Now bear in mind first of all their name, so please do subscribe, otherwise I will actually kill them. And you don't want me to do that, do you? Oh you do? Oh well subscribe anyway, come on. But yeah, um why do villagers breed or how do you make them breed? Now there are a few factors that you need to take into account. First of all, they all need to have um enough amount of food in their inventories. Now villagers do actually have inventories, they can even put armor etc on them, even though you won't actually see the model, but um, enough about that. Let's talk about breeding. So first of all, they need to have the relevant amount of food or an adequate amount of food, and that is either 3 bread, or 12 carrots, or 12 potatoes, or 12 beetroot. Now notice how I said or, it needs to be like either or, so it can't for example be 6 potatoes and 6 carrots, it has to be either 12 beetroot or 12 potatoes or 12 carrots or 3 bread. Now, as you can see, bread is actually the one that makes the most economical sense because you only need 9 of the base crop to make 3 bread or if you want to do something else, you need 12 of them. So it makes the most sense to uh, use bread. And that means this villager, if you want to breed these two villagers for example, needs 3 bread and this villager also needs 3 bread. Now the second factor is um, beds. Now as you can see, this is a bed here. Beds are really not that hard to make. Um, but what they need to be able to do is to be, they need to be able to see that there is a spare bed that a villager can claim. So for example, they probably won't be able to see this bed here, so this bed is useless. But if I put a bed here, then they wouldn't breed because they'll be like, well, one of us has a bed. What we need is three beds, so then we both have a bed and the baby villager also has a bed. Now another thing that you take into account is that the bed also needs to have two blocks on top of it that are clear, so then the baby villager can jump on them because the baby villagers, like baby humans and myself, like to jump on beds. So if I put a grass block here, that will be a no. Even if I put a grass block here, they are still not considered that as a valid bed. And also the baby villager should also be able to pathfind its way onto it. So I think even this one here, this half slab, wouldn't count. So they'd consider it as a full slab and they would not um, walk onto it. But I'm not too sure about that, but do be careful. Now let's talk about how to have villagers automatically breed. Because this is quite difficult to, well not difficult necessarily, but say if you're in a survival world, you don't always want to um, have to keep breeding your villages manually. Luckily though, villages also can farm. So we see here we have a farmer villager. I place a composter here as his farm uh, as his workstation. So now he's taking up the role or the profession of a farmer, and this means he will automatically farm. So here, for example, we have a wheat farm, as you can see by the wheat seeds. And like I said before, bread is the most economically smart choice of breeding food. But what this villager will do is he will, you know, wait around until there's wheat and then he'll pick up the wheat and he'll plant some new wheat seeds and the wheat, once he gets, gets three wheat in his inventory, it'll be turned to bread and once he has an excess of bread, then he'll give it to this villager here and this villager and this villager here should also be able to see the two, uh, not the two, the five beds here and I think we should do this technically and so they will you know, talk amongst themselves. Once they realize that they have enough food, they also realize, oh look, we have beds here which are valid, so the baby villager can get to them and um, can jump on them as well. Then they will breed and make a baby villager. So in this way you can quite easily make it so your villagers automatically breed just by farming a lot and then giving loads of food. The beds obviously you'll need to keep adding, but there's no real way of um, automatically making beds unfortunately. And of course, if you want to make this more efficient, just add um, more farmland. And once you get loads of farmland, also more villages or farmers as well. So yeah, that is just about it really for villager breeding. It's quite a simple thing. Just make sure they have a valid bed or valid beds and also enough food. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, please. Otherwise, this villager definitely, he's been looking at me kind of funny. But he will die if you don't um, subscribe. So... Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy and see you later.